funny. So Ninja made this tweet um, yesterday, I believe, almost yesterday. And this tweet has garnered so much attention and traffic, it is ridiculous. Like, it really goes to show you that some of you guys grew up with participation badge. I'm not just being real with you. Participation profiles or whatever the case may be. So the tweet reads, <clears throat> The phrase, it's just a game, is such a weak mindset. You are, okay, you are okay with what happened, losing, imperfection of craft. When you stop getting angry at, after losing, you've lost twice. There's always something to learn and always room for improvement. Never settle. I read this tweet, I knew exactly what he was talking about, and I kept it moving. What I didn't expect is the reaction that came from this tweet. Now, I don't know if people are reacting because it's ninja and they just don't like ninja because they think ninja is cringe, but, or because it, this is someone who plays, you know, Fortnite and he's made some really bad takes of, you know, over the past couple of months, but this tweet got people <clears throat> heated for the most part. This tweet got people heated. Essentially, I understood what he meant. It's very simple, and I feel like a lot of people are trying to get mad for something that they shouldn't be mad about. So let's say, for example, you're passionate about football, basketball, whatever the case may be. You want to be great at it. So when you lose, you're naturally frustrated because one, you know what you're capable of. Two, you know you, you want to put in your 100% A game into it. And it, you just, you're naturally frustrated. I and mean, what he's saying is that when you don't care about winning, you're not really um, passionate about the sport or whatever it is that you want to do. It's really that simple. It's not a complex thing to understand. Like, the people who are getting mad, they think that he's talking about, oh, if you lose a game in FIFA or in, in, in a Mortal Kombat, you smash your controller. That's not what he says. People were just wanted to be offended. They wanted to be offended by this tweet. They just wanted something to project the sense of, you don't have to care about winning. Nobody should care about winning. They want this anti-competitive environment, which is fucking stupid. Like, I... I I don't know, it's such a, it's, I just want to make this video just to express it, it's not, it's, it's not that difficult to understand, it's just, when you want to be good at something, naturally you will be frustrated, you really think all the best basketball players, football players, esports players would have gotten where they were if they didn't have that little bit of frustration that kept them going, come on bro, not that, not that difficult to understand, but anyways, that's just my thoughts and opinion on it, very short video. You guys all grow. You guys, this tweet really showed you. Really showed how sensitive people are these days. They made funny videos. Oh, listen, I, I I liked a couple of the videos. They were pretty funny, but come on, bro. Come on. It's not that difficult to understand. It's like you guys just projected your own fucking comprehension to it. It's like very simple. He was very simple about this. <clears throat> Even if you make videos, think about this. When you post something. You make a video and you post it. You you're likely not happy with the product that you've made. Most of the part, you you get a little bit frustrated. You're like, I can do better. Do you know what I mean? Like I can do better. Come on, it's not that difficult to understand. He's just trying to say, when you when you want to be the best at something, you have to keep stri and you know, how do I put this? He's saying, you have to have the drive to succeed, and the drive with drive comes a little bit of frustration. So. Very simple stuff. But anyways, that's just my thoughts and opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm Paris and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.